So today we have stepped up big time. This just came in, Rover Elite by Renogy, okay? This is supposed to be a lot better. So basically it wasn't charging my battery. It would let me use the power off of my battery with this little... It's alive. In all of its beauty. Thank you, Lord. Rover Hey everybody, welcome back to Unspecified Podcast. For a while now I had been wanting to show you guys a little bit of the solar that we have been getting into. Now, I just tore it all apart. We used to have this Harbor Freight solar controller, charge controller. Um, we used to have it set up. It uh, never worked. I can go through with you guys later and show you guys the reasons why it didn't work for me. Um, and this is the this is the second one that I've gotten. Um, the first one is apparently had the same issue, and uh, we took it back to trade it in. And this one did the same thing. And all it really did was uh, it, it 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 did what it said it would do, but at the same time, uh, I it never did show. So I would I would test on the battery. What it would what it was doing was it was not showing that it was receiving a charge even though testing it on my voltmeter and it did show that it was charging now i have both of my solar panels outside i have two 100 watt thunderbolt um, harbor freight solar panels this is them i watched a few videos they said that they were pretty good they had pretty good wiring i just have it run through a doggy door here that goes into my shop on the other side of that wall is where we were so this is supposed to be 100 watts a piece. So we have two, praise the Lord. We've been saving up to get these. Now these are monocrystalline, okay? And these are like a bunch of little cells. If you look, these are, well, anyway, uh, we don't have them in the best sunlight at the moment. Um, but uh, it is the end of the day. It's about five o'clock right now. Sun will go down at 7.51. Um, and uh, so far, uh, I'm very happy with these. So forgive me if I sound a little scatterbrained. Uh, me and my family are getting over a bug or something. I'm not really sure. So today we have stepped up big time. This just came in. Rover Elite by Renogy. Okay. This is supposed to be a lot better uh, than Harbor Freight stuff, of course. Um, and I mean, this thing is so hefty. This is a 40 amp. Uh, MPPT charge controller, which I'm very excited for. Now, what kind of battery are we working with? We're working with um, lithium iron phosphate, 50 amp, 640 watt. Okay. Um, now, I was confused because when I ordered this, I thought I was ordering 100 watt. Turns out I need like between a five or a seven kilowatt system to run my whole house, which we'll be working towards that goal or bigger. We'll see what we can do. Um, but this is just me dipping my toe into the water. Forgive me, a lot of my connectors are um, not right. And, you know, I'm using wire nuts. And uh, I'm new to this. So if you guys want to help me out, I would really appreciate any of your guys' knowledge on this stuff uh, and suggestions. Uh, so please uh, share with your electronic friends. And um, you guys can come and roast this video. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but so far, we're working with a, a small 50 amp hour battery to dip our toe in the water and see what we can run. We have a few options here for an inverter. This is just a uh, cigarette lighter, 100 watt. This will actually run a good amount of stuff. I mean, a, a small little 12 volt fan, um, an LED bulb. Um, I have other, you know, things that we can run and test. Um, we can test and check stuff out on this kilowatt little uh, outlet socket tester, voltage meter or whatever you want to call it. We have a Jupiter 1000 watt um, inverter here, which I'm not going to pair up with a 50 amp hour battery alone. So before we use the 1000 watt inverter, we're going to be bumping our batteries up. So pray for us there. Um, and I have this old school Chicago electric power and power inverter 
uh, and it's a 400 continuous 800 watt peak. Uh, and this is the one that I was thinking would be a little bit better to use with a 50 amp hour battery. However, this one has a little internal fan and it comes on regardless of whether it's under a serious load or not. It just continuously stays on. It's a very old unit. And I think, I think it was originally supposed to be used in, a, in like a vehicle, which makes sense. It, it, I got this for free when I bought my truck. Um, it came in the truck, uh, and it wasn't hooked up. He just gave it to me. He was like, yeah, you can have that. And uh, I was like, awesome. Uh, 400, 800 watt, uh, continuous and peak. And uh, I think it's designed to run in a vehicle because that fan being on all the time wouldn't matter with a vehicle running. And with the alternator continuously, you know, it just doesn't, it's not draining anything to run the, the little, but it, in a solar setup, um, it is inefficient to have that fan continuously running. It shouldn't be a big deal. Um, anyway, I've done enough rambling. So, out with the old, that kind of worked, kind of didn't. And what I mean is, it would never show that I was accepting a charge on the screen. Uh, but my voltmeter said, uh, based on these wires here, that, I, I, that, that that's a, combina a combinator. This is a combination of uh, my two solar panels outside. Um, and sorry, scatterbrain, it did say that it was receiving a certain amount of amperage and it did not say that it was receiving it here and it wasn't, so basically it wasn't charging my battery. It would let me use the power off of my battery with this little, this little, uh, little feature here where you can turn a, uh, auxiliary power here. Like it'll let you run a load basically, which I just don't recommend these guys pass this up I've seen some people have success with them um, they're 76 bucks right now uh, that'd be uh, the beginning of August 2022 here and uh, this I think is more than that but you can run 40 amps now this is say that it's a 500 amp uh, charge no 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 it says it's a 500 watt charge controller okay but what that really means is it's 250 in and 250 out okay or something like that so it's it's really not uh, a 500 watt charge controller it's you know that's technically they're bumping that up because they're saying that it can run that through and I can't quite get it to run my to charge my battery uh, so we're gonna step up and plug this in and see how it does so I'm very excited about that It's alive in all of its beauty. Thank you, Lord. Rover Elite, 40 amp.
All right, so let's plug in the uh, power input from these guys. Beautiful. 1.5 amps, and it says it is charging. You can see the battery. Beautiful. No kilowatts. Hold on. 25 degrees Celsius. I'll see if I can change that to Fahrenheit. And then 13.2 volts on the battery. Hallelujah. There you go, 16 volts. PV solar power going in hallelujah that's awesome you guys comment down below um, I know I'm doing a lot of bad stuff using uh, wire nuts and you guys are gonna roast me for that um, so share it out and tell your electronic uh, electrician friends I need electrician buddies <laughs> see you guys on the next one